Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video, we are going to create uh, the Lego guy, or actually rather put uh, or assemble it. Uh, we have a lot of these pieces um, that we've done over the past few tutorials. Uh, if you haven't checked out them, you should go back and check them out, or you can create them, pause the video and create them now, uh, whatever you want to do. I also will include a link in the description uh, for the download of each of these files. So this is kind of like uh, this is going to be a tutorial of how to pull in other Blender files a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is the file that I have now. I'm just going to save it and open up a new one. <clears throat> so yeah, just open up a new Blender file. If you haven't downloaded the files in the description or done them, go do that. Uh, and then just delete the cube and go to File. And there are two main Blender import options. Uh, there's a link and a pend. Today we're going to be using a pend, but link does have a lot of advantages that people probably often uh, forget that they have. Uh, for, for instance, link uh, creates like instances of your files, so memory management, as far as like your computer, will probably run faster if you link things, uh, but you can't edit them once they're in your scene except for scale and like location location rotation and scale that's the only three things you can't you can do you can't actually go into edit mode and edit anything uh, for this purposes for these purposes in the Lego character uh, we're going to append because we may need to adjust things as we just created basic objects of a Lego guy and if we append them uh, we'll be able to edit them to fit correctly so I'm going to start, let's just start at the top, so I'm going to start with the Lego head. <clears throat> and if you, so you, I click Append, click on your folder that you have or whatever, go into the file, and then because this is a single object, you can just go here into Object and cre uh, click on Cube, and it's the head in this file, if this is the same one you created. If not, uh, you could have renamed it to anything. Uh, let's rename it now so that it's easier uh, well, in the future. So I'm just going to rename it to head. That cube is now a head. Uh, let's append another object. This is going to be... Uh, let's do the body. And I'm just going to go to object uh, right here, cube, and name this one body. Try that again. And we have those two right there. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm actually going to save this. So I'm going to name this. Uh, so I'm going to save this. Uh, and mainly because I need to open up another instance of Blender for a short second. Uh, you'll probably want to do this as well. So open up a new Blender. Um, what we're going to be doing here, okay, there we go, is open up the. If you did it on your own, you're gonna have to do this. If not, if you just download in the in the description, you can skip a, a minute or so ahead. Uh, we just need to go to the Lego arm and open up this file that we created. Um, you won't have any of this stuff, but what we need to do is click on these three objects right here, and you can see them right here. Uh, it's going to be the three cubes, cubes, cube, cube 001, cube 002. Uh, let's just, for instance, say we don't have this in a collection. Uh, we're going to click up here to click, oops, let's do this. We'll click up here to create a collection and then drag, click and hit shift and click on all three of those objects and drag them into the collection and then rename this collection arm just like that and then you can save it and exit it uh, you would want to make sure you save that but I didn't because I've already got it uh, so if you just download it in the description right here is where you want to pick back up uh, so let's go back to append and we're gonna go to the Lego full body or not full body, uh, Lego arm Lego arm click on the file and then we're going to go into 
the collections and we're going to take the entire arm collection and you can see we got all of them now uh, let's append another object this is going to be the let's do the leg connector uh, and this is going to be an object and this is going to be the cylinder let's just make sure yep that's the cylinder right there uh, file append another one uh, this is going to be the leg and this is also going to be an object uh, where'd it go and then go it's going to be the cube uh, and we got off of our naming conventions here so let's click on click on the leg and it will highlight where it's at and type in leg uh, we got this one I think I actually that was supposed to be body uh, you might want to just click over here maybe it's easier this is going to be the leg uh, let's see what other ones need to be we can we don't necessarily need to rename them because we have it right here so we have the arm the body what's this one? Oh, leg connector okay we got the arm the body the head the leg and the leg connector so now let's just go to the front view and let's get this arm out of the way because that is super annoying so you click out here to deselect everything and whoops and right click on arm and click select objects and then just move it out here always let's grab the head and move it up uh, grab the body it's right there and move it up and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger maybe make the head a little bit like like so move the leg down and let's get the leg connector here let's make it as big so we just want to make the leg connector the same size as the body so let's let's uh, now that we have the body here let's make everything fit to the body because if we start scaling certain things we're gonna get some proportions that aren't right so let's let's scale this to the body uh, for some reason that looks off center there we go now let's move the leg over here I'm gonna make it smaller let's line up this edge and this edge with this and this I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying but somewhat like this so we want to don't worry about the height just the width for now and throw it in there like that. Uh, now let's grab our arm again. Uh, make sure you click over here, right click on arm, select objects, scale it down, and position it close. Okay, now you can see things aren't quite fitting the way we want, like this is supposed to be a little bit bigger, uh, not quite the right size. And we also, or I forgot to put a head, uh, neck in here, we can add that as well. Let's first start with just rotating this and lining it up with that. And then go into the side view by hitting 3 on your numpad and pushing it into place. We now have an arm that is in the right spot. Uh, let's duplicate it. So Shift D and drag it over here. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, hit S and then I'm going to hit X twice and this will let it scale it on the local axis uh, which is what we want of the local x-axis and then we're going to type in negative one and it will flip it across the axis that we want and hit R and then rotate it and position it into the spot that was one of the hardest things and we are nearly done then uh, let's fix this. Uh, the proportion to that is way off. It needs to be a lot taller, at least in this one. So I'm just going to grab those and move it down. And that is the power of the append. Uh, we would not have been able to do that if we just linked them together. I'm also going to push that up just a hair. Okay, now we need to do this here. So a uh, cool trick, if you hit 1, you go to the front side. If you hit 3, you go to the right. But if you hit Control 3, you go to the left side. It's like the opposite. Hit wireframe. And you 
can see that there's the circle, just click on one of the dots and hit Control L, and it will select all the linked ones to that. And now we can position our connector a little bit easier. Go into solid, and now we're done with that. One again on your numpad, click on the leg, hit Shift D, duplicate it, and slide it onto that side. Sweet, so we're nearly done. Uh, actually, we could call it done if we wanted to right there. That's nearly there. But if we want a neck that we forgot to put in before, uh, I was kind of stupid before and thought that this went up and thought there was another connector here. Uh, easy fix. Hit S and uh, hit the Z key and type in negative 1. Now it just flipped those. It flipped. So this is the top that was up here is now here and you're asking probably why would I do that well now if we drag this down it just becomes an egg so uh, hopefully that made somewhat sense uh, zoom out take your pictures and voila you're done with your Lego character good luck with your creations that you do hopefully this has taught some good principles for uh, pulling in things that you have had in other scenes into one scene. Uh, thanks, and we'll see you later on Blender Know How.